we think in AI, we usually think in languages like Python or JavaScript. But AI capabilities can also be used in Java just as easily, thanks to Spring AI. Spring AI is an abstraction layer between Spring Boot, vector stores, and AI models. In this video, we'll see how to implement a rock system with Elasticsearch and Java in the time it takes to drink your coffee. This video is based on the blog post Spring AI and Elasticsearch as your vector store. Don't forget to check it out and enjoy the video. For this article, you'll need Docker and a Java development kit installed on your machine, as well as an ID or code editor compatible with Java. In the diagram on the screen, you can see the flow of the app. The client will send requests to the Spring Boot API to ingest and query data. To ingest the data, the Spring app will first communicate with the AI model to get embeddings and then send them to Elasticsearch. To query the data, it will first retrieve information from Elasticsearch and then send it to the model to get a response. Before starting to develop the app, make sure you have an open API key at hand and an Elasticsearch and Kibana instances running. In this example, I will be using Docker images for that. There is a very easy way to install bot locally using the start local command. Open a console and execute the command shown on the screen. This will start a download and will mount the Docker images, finishing by displaying the port where the Elasticsearch and Kibana are running locally, an API key and a username with password. After the command finishes executing, it will create a folder named Elastic Start Local, where you can find a .em file with the variables previously shown in the console. Go back to the console and let's copy the password to be used in later steps. A quick note, if you have Docker desktop, you can check if the images are running there. Alternatively, you can check it using the docker ps command. Also, if you open your browser, you can go to the port shown for Kibana. You'll see that the instance is running and you can access it using the user and password mentioned earlier. With Elasticsearch and Kibana running, we can now create a Spring project to start developing the app. For that, we will use a Spring Initializer. A Spring Initializer is a web tool developed by the Spring team to quickly create a Spring projects with custom configurations. First, set a name and a short description. Then, choose Maven as the build tool and make sure the Java language is selected. It is highly recommended to use the last available Java version. Here, we can also select dependencies that will be used in the app. Let's choose Elasticsearch Vector Database to store the embeddings generated from the data, a Spring Boot Actuator to help monitor the app, OpenAI to interact with OpenAI models and features, a Spring Web to build the REST APIs, and PDF Document Reader a tool to load the dataset in PDF format. Finish the process by clicking Generate, which will be downloaded the zip file containing the project template. Extract and open it with your favorite IDE or code editor. In my case, I'll use IntelliJ IDEA. Go to the file application.properties in source, main, resources folder, and let's add the necessary Elasticsearch variables to connect the app with the running Elasticsearch instance. This line will allow the app to create an index with mappings, including a dense vector field to store the embeddings in Elasticsearch. The creation of the index with the correct mappings happens automatically in the background. No extra steps are needed. Next, let's set up the OpenAPI key. To avoid exposing the key, we can use an environment variable. Finally, we need to increase the file and request size limit allowed by Spring Boot, since the PDF file using this example is 12 megabytes. Set the environment variable in the console using the export command, with the same name using the configuration, and paste your open API key. Next, navigate to the main class, which will be located in source, main, java, inside the com.example.demo package in my case. Under the existing code, paste the code for the controller. This will define the endpoints using the app, one for ingesting data and another for querying it. To avoid errors, 
make sure to import all required packages. Now, paste the code for the service class, which contains the core logic of the application. Here, Elasticsearch client and the chat AI client are instantiated. In the ingest method, you'll find the logic to insert the PDF data into Elasticsearch. In direct rack, we handle the interaction with the LLM to perform rack. Direct rack receives the user's question and retrieves data from Elasticsearch based on it. Here, a KNN search will be executed in Elasticsearch, retrieving the five most bacterially similar documents. In the prompt, we specify the type of task we want the LLM to perform. In this case, answering a question based on the provided data. Finally, we send everything to the LLM to get a response. Import the necessary dependencies, and with that, the app is ready to be executed and used. Before running the app, we need to download the dataset. In the article, a sample PDF file about a board game is provided. In this dataset, we will ask about one of the rules found on the page 27 regarding the reward cards. I rename the PDF file to make it easier to locate. With the dataset downloaded, we can run the application. Open a terminal in the root directory of the app and run mbn clean install command to install all needed dependencies and then mbn spring boot run to start the app. Let's now ingest the PDF document into Elasticsearch. In another terminal, send a post request to the rack ingest endpoint with the absolute path of the PDF file. Now, the data is stored in Elasticsearch and we can query it. Let's call the rack query endpoint with a question. Where do you place the reward card after obtaining it? And see the magic happen. As you can see, we get a summary of the document content along with the page number where it was found. This is a very straightforward way to do Rack, but there is an alternative that requires less code using a Spring AI advisor. To use it, you need to add the required dependency to your POM file and make some small changes in the code. Paste the advice Rack method. This method will do the same as the direct Rack. Replace the call to direct Rack with advice Rack in the query endpoint. And with that, we are ready to test it. Reinstall the dependencies and run the app again to test it. You should get a similar result. With the Spring AI and Elasticsearch, building a RAP system in Java is easy and powerful. You also have the full power of the Java ecosystem to scale, maintain, and integrate with confidence. Try it on your own project and see how far you can go. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.